On today's video, we're going to get out to the camp for a few nights, got a few little jobs to do, but we're also going to try to sneak out and get a little fishing in too. stuff in the truck and we got the boat in the back and we're heading into the camp the first night out here it's gonna be me and my two sons and then for the second night our buddy Scott's gonna be joining us Once we got all our stuff unpacked, we just had enough time to sneak out for a quick evening of fishing. Even though we didn't have a whole lot of time to fish, a little bit of fishing is better than not fishing at all. And the only thing that was really biting this evening was a few small pike. But again, a few small pike are better than no fish at all. And then it was back to the camp, and we went ahead and we fried up some really good mushroom cheesesteaks for a late dinner. It's like chipotle. Mm. It's kind of sweet heat. Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Try a little bit on this one. Mm -hmm. Here. Had some really good cheesesteaks. Oh yeah. So that was good. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> now what do you guys think? Should we watch a little Charlie's Angels? Sounds good. Yeah. All right. I am content. All right. We have very limited TV reception at the camp. So we're kind of relegated to mostly just watching DVDs in the evenings. Our camp is an off-grid camp, and if you're interested in how we do our utilities, you know, the electricity, the sewer, the water, and the heat, if you're at all interested in that, I did do an entire separate video just on that subject, and I'll leave a link below if you want to check that out. What's going on? Not much. How you doing? Still only one awake? Yeah. Well, I heard some rustling. Wow. I heard some rustling. They got a different schedule than me and you. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I figured. Yeah, they work. Uh, they work midnights. <laughs> yeah, they work third it. shift. Yeah. He's like, "Whoa, dude, you work first shift?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just a normal human being. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody works. Everybody works at a factory, so yeah, I must work first shift. Yeah. <laughs> ding 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 ding. So after catching up with Scott a little bit, and after my boys got up, it was time to head out and take care of a few jobs. The camp yard was starting to turn into a hay field, so we really did need to take care of that.
I don't know, what'd you find here, Scott? What's going on? Well, we hauled the saw on the stove out to get a little repair work done, and so then I figured it's a good chance to take everything lifted up, get her all uh, vacuumed out. And so yeah. I was taking the bottom bench out and lifting her up, and it's just sitting on blocks. Right. So you yeah. started kind of skinning her out, and then, uh, yeah, the next thing you know, you got a few. You see where all, you find where all the mouse nests are. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got a few in there, hey. Mm-hmm. And some over here too, or what? Yeah, not as not as big. That's the that's the main one. Yeah, there must have just been just enough of a crack, hey, underneath the wood. Yeah, for them to slide in there. Yeah, huh? that's all it takes too. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's, one, there's one in here too. Yeah, well, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this hasn't. Uh, I don't think this bench has moved since we put it in there, though, hey. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, I don't know, we put this up a long time ago, so. Right. Yeah, that's quite a few, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was due for a little cleaning, I guess, and yeah. mice were living here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My son Peter is always experimenting with different antennas and boosters to try to get better cell phone signal at the camp. That's still a little bit of a work in progress. And then after we got a few of those jobs out of the way, it was time to go fishing. Six seater side by side with a gray here and with two little kids in the back putting along at five miles an hour. I don't think we're gonna get in any trouble today. They don't even seem to care if there's three people on it. A three or a four wheeler and no helmets on it. And amazingly, the small pike were still biting. We were able to enjoy some homemade venison jerky that Scott had done up. That was really good. I think it's actually, uh, It's, it's a desirable. <laughs> and we even did manage to scrounge up one walleye. Yeah. started coming down so that did cut our evening of fishing a little short so it was time to head back to the camp next morning we went out and checked a few game cameras And we even saw a little bit of uh, live wildlife along the way.
And then later on that afternoon, it was time to pack up and head home. Now, guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe. And also, remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.